What's up, everybody? It's winter in Wisconsin. Oh yeah, just Very kidding. Cold. <laughs> uh, but it is cold. But we are here. My name is Swayze. I go by the artist Swayze. This is Nicole. Nicole, I go by House of Holstein as well. And we are kind of deciding to create this new art dance project. And the inspiration kind of came from. I was always thinking about music videos and how when you think about a music video, the you always think of dancing as a background dancer, right? So that, that's a really big correlation that they always have. They always, when you think of dance, you always think of music. And to me, looking at dance as a pure art form as itself, I was like, why is it only having me correlated with just music, right? And so I was like, why don't we start trying to correlate dance with art? So when you're painting, when people, when people start thinking about painters, I want them to think about dancers as well. Um, kind of just to get rid of this art, I call it the art click. Like all of these different art forms have their own clicks yeah. to it. You know, painting has its own click form, uh, music has its own clicks. Um, and instead of doing that, just bring any type of art form you're coming from, whether it, even if it's cooking or whatever it is, that you can think of cooking and think of dance, or you can think of get to dance. Yep. So we're gonna try a little project today. Uh, so yeah. what's gonna happen is this lovely lady, Nicole, is going to paint a beautiful picture, abstract, maybe not abstract, she's gonna wing it on the spot, and then I'm gonna observe it, I'm gonna interpret it by dance or art of movement, yeah. I should say. I'm yeah. gonna interpret it through movement. And then, I'm gonna create a movement piece. She's gonna create an art piece to that. And then we'll see what we come up with. Yeah, and movement and then, is essential to everything that yeah. we do. So that's why we really wanted to collaborate and bring art and dance together. Because at the end of the day, a lot of painting, at least from what I'm familiar with, everything relates to movement and how the texture comes about from that movement within the canvas. So we're gonna combine the two together and see how it goes. Yeah. It's cool. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hi. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, one thing I kind of wanted to add about to this project is, what I think is cool is if you know what kind of dancing I come from, uh, or movement, whether it's parkour too, um, it's all freestyle. I like to freestyle as much as possible. I can do choreography, I do do choreography as well. Um, but for this, I don't want to actually watch her paint as much as I thought I would, because I want to just wait until she comes up with something. I'm gonna look at it and be like, okay, how do I want to move when I see this painting? And then just do that and don't think much on it. So I like this uh, style. I'm gonna try and freestyle as much as I can. And even though it's like 38, 40 degrees, freezing my hands off, but that's why I brought this trench coat. But uh, I'm excited. Let's see what she comes up with. Uh, I got this. Let's figure out how I'm going to interpret this. Stop in it. 
I'ma take it high cause there's no limits Got the drive, never tired, yeah the road's tinted The road switching, playing my part in it Trying to make it to the A clubs Where this is lady by the storm high Oh, hey. All right, so hopefully you guys like that. Uh, it was one take, it was one try, and I think I did okay. Probably could get some critiques out there, but we'll leave those for the comments section or something. Um, so just a couple of ideas that I had was I wanted to create a lot of circles, a lot of like wavy movements uh, for obvious reasons, and a lot of back and forth movements. So like on the wall, I wanted to go back and forth and create movements. Um, but um so like in the for example when i did the it's called a palm spin i did a palm spin on the bar to create my first circle and then later on i wanted to create some break dancing movements just a basic it's called one step coffee grinder helicopter depends on what part of the world you're from but i wanted to create this leg as my paintbrush to create the first um, couple circles after that it was a lot of kind of freestyle and trying to remember what the painting actually looked like now he has a lot to take in in about one minute, but uh, let's see. Now it's my turn to make some movement and Nicole's turn to paint for me. So let's come up with something abstract for her. Found to. Half me doesn't want to try this right now. So I probably not. Like a fire in my veins. I don't know. That's, I don't know what, the, what I just did. <laughs> So the way I came up with doing this painting was I was looking at a lot of the steps that Sam was doing. So he did a lot of jumps. So I started off by dripping some paint and I would start in one corner of the canvas and then I would just kind of jump it over to the other and let it drip down along the way. One thing that I liked a lot too was with his footwork. At one point he kind of crawls on the floor, floor like a crab. So I started off, um, after I had dripped my initial paint, I took my fun little paper and I would move it based off of his body movement. So if it was really quick, I would go like this. And if it was really slow, I would drag it longer. And I wasn't actually really looking at the canvas because I really wanted to pay attention to his feet movement and his body movement. And then after I did a good foundation, as it progressed, I re-dripped some paint. And at one point he did this that really cool crab walk. So it really emphasized like the power of four because you got your two feet, you got your two hands. So I put four drops 
in each so one drop in each corner to total to four and I did that with each color and just continued to kind of use my hands and the plate and just kind of shimmy along with his own movements so I didn't really know what it looked like till it was done because I was too busy watching his footsteps but that's kind of cool when you do art you don't even have to look at the canvas you can really have your mind tuned into the movement of something and then be surprised with what turns out that's actually an art technique too where you draw with your eyes closed even so it's like i did that one even though i was just gazing afar so yeah <laughs> Woo -hoo. all right what's up everybody uh so this was our little project we kind of just went did it in the cold uh, as you can see, our first one, this is the one that uh, Nicole did that I had to interpret. Yep. Hopefully I did okay. If I didn't, critique me or comment below. Um, the painting next to it, this is the one that she had to do that came from my movement. So you can critique her, comment below, see if you like it. She obviously put the abstracts out. I tried to create abstract movement. So we'll see what we came up with. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for checking out our art project. Thank you for listening. Um, I'm Artist Swayze on all platforms. And I'm House of Holstein on all platforms. Check out our videographer behind the screen. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh wait, don't forget to follow me on my platforms, PTPXATI. Do not forget, the guy is dope. He works with all types of artists. But speaking of all types of artists, I love, we love, yes. we'd all like to collaborate with more types of dancers and artists or whatever kind of art form you want to portray. Um, so message us, comment us, anything it is, DM. Um, reach out to us because you don't have to be in town. We're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You could yep. be here or you could be in Australia. I don't even care. Send us a video, send us your artwork or your dance video and we'll interpret it for you. So Yeah, we're gonna work together and we're gonna work with the rest of the world. So, so that's how we're gonna bring art and dance together. Awesome, thanks guys.